Hey, this is Ine. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today I will explain you exactly how I managed to pass the um, My Forex Funds Evaluation Challenge, the second phase. So yeah, it is true. I just passed the second phase of the evaluation challenge and I am on my way to become a funded trader. This is an uh, interesting journey and I'm um, yeah documenting this on this YouTube challenge. So if you want to look up some of the previous videos, just search in the last um, channel videos. Also, this is the My Forex Funds account. Um, this is the second account that I just yeah, traded for the last uh, week or two weeks, I think. And you can see here, like, the uh, balance is 5,257. So a little bit of overperformance again. And, um, yeah, I will tell, like, you what the what the last trades were. Uh, today there were two trades, and we will see this later on in the account analyzer. We can see there was this short trade today in the morning or in the night. I didn't even, like see it because I was sleeping obviously but this is like the great thing about automated trading. I do not have to be in front of the PC because uh, the automated program that I use here is doing all the work and um, yeah this is how I passed the challenge pretty much because I used a automated trading strategy which is my scalping project expert advisor and you can see this was the first trade um, yeah, luckily this hit the take profit because the movement was really short here and directly after this short down movement, the market recovered for a bit and um, yeah, would have hit the um, stop loss, but I mean the trailing stop did its job and it um, cashed in the small profit. And then there was a little bit of sideways movement and after 10 bars, um, there was another signal here, another sales stop order which was executed just um, yeah 30 minutes ago I think and um, had a little bit of slippage here for the execution but then there was a really strong move um, again I didn't really see it in real time I wasn't able to record it because I had um, I, 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 I wasn't really in front of the PC so um, or I had something else to do so um, yeah but it cashed in the profit and what is really interesting is um, that I still had three pending orders in the account but um, they were automatically cancelled when I reached the goal like the, the, the t profit target goal so yeah this was the moment when I passed this second phase of the evaluation challenge and before we go to the account analyzer um, let's yeah, have a look at some more things in the account history maybe so these trades today the first one made uh, 25 euro profit roughly or usd and the second one 50 usd which is quite a lot um for this account this is one percent yeah which is which is quite a quite a big win because i was trading with a three percent risk so a one percent win is really really good for this strategy and yeah you can see now the market is falling like crazy in usd japanese yen and it is increasing in euro us dollar but i don't really mind since i passed this challenge and i think i will stop trading for the week and maybe start the funded phase in uh, on uh, on monday in the next week i think so um yeah i will tell you a little bit more about the process um but since i did this um a lot before i will compare this to my other live trading account where i trade the strategy like the exact same strategy and you can see these were the same trades and um i also had a little bit of slippage here in the live trading account so to um, to make a little summary about like the trading um, conditions that you have in these funded uh, accounts like I mean I had these uh, demo accounts here but I as far as I saw this the trading conditions are just fair. I cannot say it was unfair, there was no stop fishing or whatsoever, it was just a good execution. Of course we have slippage, but slippage is normal, you will see it in every account. And um, yeah, after all, like the trades were really similar to the ones that I did in the live trading account. So I cannot really say that the My Forex Funds evaluation challenges are unfair or they want you or they force you to fail this is just not true in my opinion and i had a really good trading experience so far so i was able to use my automated program it was a skyping strategy there were no restrictions and as long as you say in the in the like rules i think it is it is completely fair so far so let's leave the server let's go back to my local pc and let's have a look at the account analyzer so this is where we can see like the um, everything about the account and you can see this is like 
Um, account status is passed now and this is the evaluation phase 2 demo. So I can now click on upgrade in the upper right corner to upgrade my account to the funded phase. But yeah, I will tell you again what I have to do before I can do this like in the end of the video. First of all, let's have a look at the performance. I started the second phase um, 10 days ago and um, yeah, did some profits. Had also had one or two days where, was, uh, where I didn't see any trading at all. For example, yesterday there was not a single trade, but I mean, this is what trading is about, right? You have to wait until there is a signal for your strategy and then you take the signal and in, in the best case you make a profit. So you can see like today I made 1.44% and this was enough to hit the 5% profit target which was 250 in this case for my small uh, 5000 USD account that I am now um, qualified for pretty much. So yeah, I received the notifications and everything and you can also see like I can switch in between of these accounts. So this was my first account. And um, now we can see like the, the overview which is really interesting I think. So you can see on the 20. 4th of um, October, I started this challenge. So you can see like in total, it took me pretty much exactly one month. I think like 30 days or so to reach uh, or to hit like um, the overall profit target of the first and th uh, second phase of this challenge. So I, I, I passed the evaluation challenge in one month. And in total, I would have 30 days or one month for the for the first phase only and then another two months for the second phase. So I was uh, quite overperforming here. Um, this was, I think, because I had a really lucky period because the markets are trending quite good in the last days, I would say, in USD and Japanese yen. Uh, or in Euro USD and USD Japanese Yen. So I was, I was able to pick some good trades here. I only had a single losing trade. And don't get me wrong. I mean, you can pass a challenge with Expert Advisor, but I consider myself extremely lucky with this challenge. This is not normal. You will not make 20 or 30% every month. This is absolutely not normal. I was extremely lucky here that I was able to pass these challenges so easily and um, it's just not normal. You will you will struggle with the challenge. I, I mean, if I would start the same challenge again with the same EA, same settings and everything, I might lose it. So this is it. It I would I would never say this is a easy win or so. I mean, I would never like recommend anything here because it is just, in my opinion, it it you will need a lot of luck to pass the challenge because I'm. I would say I'm quite experienced with automated trading now and you just cannot predict the next month. You cannot say that you will make a guaranteed profit of 5% in the next next month. It's always a big, a big risk. And yeah, do not underestimate these challenges. Stay in your um, in your in your risk and money management and yeah, I mean, it's absolutely possible to pass these challenges. I just did and yeah. So I I think I will just like I have to talk with the um, support of my forex funds again now because there, once you pass the um, second uh, the second phase of the challenge, they will ask you for your verification. So you have to provide a passport, a utility bill, or a driver's license and a utility bill. So they know that you are indeed a real person, and they need to know your address. And afterwards, I think you will be able to trade on their live account. But um, yeah, I, again, I didn't do this yet because uh, I want to um, run this account on my uh, as a corporate account. So I have to do some like. I have to clarify one or two things. Also, I, d I asked one or two questions about the funded phase already. And um, I think if I have the answers, maybe I can make another update video on this channel. I think I will not make like frequent videos like I did before for the challenge because I just wanted to document like the process of how to pass such a challenge and if it is a big scam or if it is possible. So um, yeah, I will just give you one or two more updates, I think, on the funded phase, uh, what you have to provide as information, how everything works, if every, everything is legit. But I will not document, like, um, make a documentation for every single trade. This would be just too much and I think really boring in the long run. So, yeah, this is how I passed um, the My Forex Funds Evaluation Challenge. This was, like, the normal um, challenge, not 
this is not a rapid or acceleration challenge that's just like the normal evaluation challenge that you will find for a lot of prop trading firms it worked out for me using an expert advisor and i hope it will work out for you too so you can start um, to become a funded trader and trade with money that is pretty much um, working for you and you do not even have to uh, have to put your own money at risk. Oh, also what is really interesting, they say on the website that I get a refund of my uh, of my payment that I did in the beginning. I mean, I had to, f had to pay like 50 bucks to um, take part in this challenge and they say if I'm profitable for the first month. So this is pretty much a third challenge. So th these challenges are crazy and I didn't really pass it anyways. Uh, so I will have to be profitable for one more month, I think, to get my, my refund and then the first payout. Um, but I, I didn't, didn't even fully understand this. So this is one of my questions that I asked the support. And yeah, I will get back to you if I'm able to get my money back. Or um, um, yeah, I think I will just get back to you then. So um, yeah, thanks for watching me, uh, for watching this video and following me on the journey of <laughs> how to pass a evaluation challenge with a prop trading firm. This project can be um, um, can be closed as a success, I would say. And yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really curious to read your read your comments. What do you think about this? Um, was I just lucky, or do you think I could uh, do this again? Um, yeah, in my, in my opinion, I was really lucky. But yeah, let me know what you think about this, and uh, hope that you, um, if you ever started a, a prop trading um, challenge, that you are able that you are also able to to pass it. So in the end, have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.